So last episode, I could easily tell what the title meant, Defector's Atonement. Pretty simple. This one's called The Promised World. I think this one might get fucking deep on me. What's up, Dapper Squad? It's your boy Darius back at it again with Black Clover, episode 61. Last episode, we had the ultimate team up out of nowhere between Mars, Fonzel, Dominante, and Mariella. Pretty much just Mars and the rest of them teamed up to go against Ladros, and we decided to beat him. We either need Fauna, because she has too much magic to overflood him, or we need Asta with anti-magic so we're all gonna group up in this episode we're all I like i think we're hitting the climax of this arc and i'm so excited to find out where it goes people have been telling me the show only gets better and better and it's already damn good so like we're we gotta see where this goes i'm not wasting any more time i'm gonna jump right on into this Real quick though, remember if you guys want early access and full length to this show and all the other shows I'm watching like Black Clover, this is Black Clover, Jujutsu Kaisen, Haikyuu, many many more to come. We are four episodes ahead on Patreon, links are always down below for you guys. If you guys do want to support me and Patreon's not really your thing, if you guys could just leave a like and a nice comment, it really does help me with that YouTube algorithm. Don't forget to subscribe if you guys currently are not subscribed, click that bell so you guys always know exactly when I post. And then follow me on all my social medias, Instagram, Twitch, and Twitter, at Dapper Darius. Thank you guys so much. Black Clover, episode 61, The Promised World. He, it's exactly where we left off, where he's trying to walk her or talk her down off the edge. But uh, she's about to go crazy. Salamander. This magic. Come on, Mars. Ladros is already there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, see if you can hit a grand slam, shoot that right at Ladros. It actually is burning his skin. I don't think he's fully dead. I think we would have seen a little bit more, but I think he is... I think he's gravely injured. Was that really it for Ladros? Is he gonna say thank you for saving me? Alright, I'll trust you for now. You do have a very evil face, Mars. Any friend of Zell is a friend of mine. For now, he says. Yes, for now. We still have to deal with Fauna and Salamander. Sees that luscious pink hair. Fauna. They make eye contact. Ooh, instant flashback, instant cutting. It's crazy how they started just like that to where they are now. The faces of those you love. Our powers are here to protect the people of this kingdom. So sad to think about, man. They're still optimistic, thinking they're going to protect people, you know? Not thinking that they're going to send Mars to kill every other student to prove he's the strongest. Jesus Christ, the Diamond Kingdom. And there's some real ones. Yep, this is, yep, exactly what I was talking about. God damn it, bro. I remember how, how, not mad, but upset I was when she said she has no other choice, please die. But then it showed us that she only did this to bait him into killing her because she cared about him so much. So sad, you know. And then he got half of her grimoire, like, imbued into his, and he got crystal. And it's so sad, yet, like, oh my, like, I just want them to be happy, you know? So sad. Like, look at that. That's easily the darkest thing we've seen in Black Clover so far. An impaled little girl murdered by her best friend. If Fauna never came back and that was just her story, man, that's so tragic. I can't wait to see where it goes with her character, but... Damn, that sucks. And she has a weird third eye. 
No hesitation. I respect it, man. Yeah, she's been brainwashed or corrupted in some way because she said she doesn't remember him and he's right here. Yeah, you didn't recognize... Yep, that's her. Human ex Mor Morris's human exper experiments. Morris. Yeah. It's something, I think. I What? Yeah, we're getting deeper. Something's going on with it. Now, is Fauna really doing another Veto? Like, perfect sell? We're just gonna blow up? <laughs> they all come with that option installed. <laughs> they all just have a self-destruct button built in. Jesus Christ, Asta. That's gonna come clutch. Sea Dragon's Lair. I don't know how much it can, it can take of that, though. He just ate one of those. He is not gonna defend himself against Fauna again. He's already done that once. He's eating those. He feels bad. Yasta is not wrong. <laughs> Dude, she's got three eyes. Are you sure that's the same? <laughs> Asta's hilarious sometimes. Aw. That's a good callback. If she's really important, you should not just randomly try to give up your life right now. You gotta keep fighting and try to save her. I like that. Especially when he cuts to Yuna right there, thinking of his childhood friend, you know? He is ready for it, though. He says, fuck it, let's go. Yeah. I was just about to say, where's Yami right now? Oh, they both have the half face. They're both having their own regrets, hesitations, doubts. But they're still gonna need to do this. This time, I'm not letting anyone die. They're both going, and I love it. Ooh. That sword is insane. Yeah, you get close enough, that sucker's like the sun. You guys are gonna start catching on fire. So what are you gonna do? Oh, that's Mars's magic, not Fauna's. Oh, he's splitting it between them? That's so dope. He was just bad at giving up. He definitely is strange. You've never met an anime main character, have you, Mars? Welcome to the club. That's something big right there coming from Mars, the diamond champion mage. He embodies the title, the truest sense. He is a magic fu- he's a real knight. Look at this man. And they're standing side by side together in this. I love this. Yes, he is. I'm loving this relationship right now. Enormous, polished power. An unbreakable determination to save them. <laughs> They're both just complimenting each other so much. Look at them, just hand in hand. You think they're gonna leave Asta in a time like this? <laughs> Look at their determined faces. They're in this together. This is wild. This is all or nothing. We're gonna stop this or we're all dead. Both of his ex-students right there. Literally burning to a crisp, healing at the same time. Almost butt-ass naked because of how hot it is. Ooh, one big thrust. It's literally cut right in half, vertically, just like Veto. Yeah, you're not exploding on our watch. And yeah, put him out. Thank you. Mars going in with the quickness. What's he gonna give her a hug? 
It's exactly what's needed right now. A Phoenix Robe Flame Hub. Aww. Such a good dude. I like how the memories that she's cutting into right now are like VHS glitching memories. Like, reminds me so much of Kingdom Hearts. Let's go see the outside world together. withered away the sun is coming out did we expel whatever magic was in there that was causing her memories to be oh oh is she just cut right back to one before she was getting experimented on to her it's like a beat hasn't missed you know she didn't miss a beat I'm just now thinking we still have the the queen witch to deal with. But I'm going to enjoy this happiness while I can. I'm going to say I'm going to enjoy it while I can. Thankfully, we ended off on a high note because next episode is about to be crazy. I can already tell. Another fantastic episode. Very heartwarming. Very needed, I should say. It was. I'm so curious about the magic that had... Um, fauna trapped that third eyed magic so curious because like i said it seems to imprint these memories onto them about the elves and about what happened with licks and all that back then but then their memories of what actually happened in their lives are like faded away like it literally took so much work to get those back so curious about that and they made a mention not only in the episode but also in the the petite clover that Morris is a, a mage in the Diamond Kingdom who was the one who surgically modified, I'm guessing, Ladros, Mars, and Fauna. Fonzel said that he thought Fauna died after the experimentations from Morris. So I'm so curious who Morris is, what he's doing, and what kind of shit's going on. If I get a vibe just from just the names they've been giving, it kind of reminds me of the Doctor from Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood with a gold tooth. No one knows shit about him, but you know about the Doctor. You know about the doctor. I didn't write down anything uh, this episode or last episode except for Morris. So, like, that's how you know I was just so enraptured. And, it, like, it was so good. You know, seeing the fight, us and me, uh, Mars. I almost said me because I feel like Asta sometimes. Asta and Mars working together, giving each other compliments, you know, going, pushing together throughout this ordeal, no matter what. Their friends saying besides them and having faith in them, no matter what. The, the Phoenix Fire, all of this. The hug needed at the end, you know, the, the, the heartwarming. Yes, let's go see the world together. Fauna's back. It's like, I don't see. This is what I don't know. And I don't expect them to join the Black Bulls or anything because that just sounds super weird. But I wonder if now this is going to be a new squad. Are we going to take them into the kingdom? Are they going to go off on their own thing? I'm so curious. It's going to be Mars, Fonzel, Fauna, Dominante, and Mariella. What are they going to do? This sounds weird. I'm down for all of them to join the Black Bulls and like have their own room. Maybe they can do their own. Ah, maybe they'll join the make their own. I don't fucking know. I have no idea when it comes to what's next. All I know is I'm here for it. I'm excited. If you guys enjoyed, please leave a like. Let me know your thoughts down below. Um, other than that, Dapper Squad, make sure if you guys want to check out the next episodes early, Patreon, always available. I appreciate y'all. I got to get into some editing. Thank you so much, guys. Have a great day. Peace out.